2020 National Electrical Code Requirements for Permanently Installed Kitchen Appliances All kitchen appliances must be installed in accordance with their instructions and NEC requirements. Refrigerator As per 2020 NEC, refrigeration equipment can be installed on one of the 20 amps branch circuits required for small appliances. If your refrigerator requires a dedicated circuit according to the installation instructions, you must install an additional 15 or 20 amp circuit to power this appliance. The dedicated circuit requires AFCI protection. The receptacle may be installed behind the refrigerator if it is not a GFCI, ground fault, or AFCI, arc fault, type which must be installed in an readily accessible location according to the NEC, not behind refrigerator. Gas range A gas range needs a receptacle to power the igniter and its electronics. As per 2020 NEC, a receptacle for powering gas ranges can be installed on one of the 20 amps branch circuits required for small appliances. This receptacle can also be connected to any 15 or 20 amps lighting circuit. The receptacle may be installed behind the gas range if it is not a GFCI, ground fault, or AFCI, arc fault, type, which must be installed in an readily accessible location, not behind the range, according to the NEC. If a gas range receptacle is installed closer than 6 feet from the edge of the sink, it must be protected by a GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupter. Electric range Most electric ranges require a 50 amps, 240 volts circuit, some may be powered by a 40 amps, 240 volts circuit, read the range label. Conductors, cable, size shall be calculated in accordance with the NEC requirements for continuous load and any other factors. The electrical circuit powering the range must be 4-wire, copper. Electric ranges are usually connected by a cord and plug unless the manufacturer allows direct wiring of the range. The range receptacle can be installed behind or next to the range, but no more than 6 feet from the range. The receptacle for the range shall not be rated less than the circuit. If the receptacle is installed behind the range and cannot be accessed through the range drawer, or if the range is hardwired, a lockable device must be installed on the circuit breaker. If a range receptacle is installed closer than 6 feet from the edge of the sink, it must be protected by a GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupter. The electric range power cord for new installations must be 4-wire 50 amps, for new installations, a 3-wire power cord and, grounding through the neutral wire, are not allowed. Microhood the microhood mounted above the range is connected with a cable and plug. The receptacle for the microhood must be accessible and is usually located in the cabinet above the microhood. The receptacle must be powered by a dedicated AFCI protected 20 amps circuit. It should be a single 20 amps receptacle so that this dedicated circuit can only be used to power the microhood only one appliance. When the receptacle is closer than 6 feet from the edge of the sink, it must be GFCI protected. Hood Most hoods can be connected with a cord and plug or hardwired. Check the hood instruction and label to see if a dedicated 15 or 20 amp circuit is required. If no dedicated circuit is required, it can also be powered from any lighting circuit. Many hoods can be converted from a cord and plug connection to a hardwired connection, or from a hardwired connection to a cord and plug connection. If the hood is connected with a cord and plug, 
The cord must be 18 inches to 4 feet long and have a grounding wire. The cord must be protected from physical damage. The receptacle, if installed, must be accessible. When the receptacle is closer than 6 feet from the edge of the sink, it must be GFCI protected. If the hood is hardwired, a padlockable device must be installed on the circuit breaker powering this hood. Dishwasher Most dishwashers can be connected with a cord and plug or hardwired. Check instruction. The dishwasher requires a dedicated AFCI protected 15 or 20 amp circuit. Read the dishwasher label. Practically the best option is to install a dedicated 20 amp circuit in case the dishwasher needs to be replaced and the new dishwasher would require a 20 amp circuit. The dishwasher must be GFCI protected. The dishwasher receptacle must be accessible and located in the space adjacent to the space occupied by the dishwasher. Usually under the sink, not behind the dishwasher. When the receptacle is closer than 6 feet from the edge of the sink, it must be GFCI protected. If the dishwasher is connected with a cord and plug, the cord length must be between 3 and 6.5 feet. The cord must have an equipment grounding conductor, must be protected from physical damage, and when passing through openings must be protected by a bushing or other means. If the dishwasher is hardwired, a padlockable device must be installed on the circuit breaker powering the dishwasher. In sink waste disposer. Unless it is a batch feed type waste disposer, you will need a switch, air or standard, to control it. The in-sink waste disposer should be powered by a dedicated 15 or 20 amps circuit, as required by most manufacturers. The best solution for powering any residential in-sink waste disposer is to install a dedicated 20 amp circuit. Read the instruction whether the disposer can be hardwired or with a cord and plug. Or maybe both methods are acceptable. It is usually connected with a cord and plug. When connected by cord and plug, the cord must be identified as suitable, be 18 to 36 inches in length, have an equipment grounding conductor, unless otherwise marked on the device, and be protected from physical damage. The receptacle must be accessible and is usually located under the sink. If the receptacle is less than 6 feet from the edge of the sink, it must be protected by a GFCI. If the disposer is hardwired, a padlockable device should be installed on the circuit breaker supplying power to the disposer. The in-sink waste disposer circuit must be AFCI protected. Trash compactors Trash compactors are rarely used in the kitchens. Trash compactor are usually installed, built-in, anywhere under the countertop, much like a dishwasher. They usually require a dedicated 15 or 20 amp circuit. The trash compactor can be hardwired or cord and plug connected. If connected with a cord and plug, the power cord must be no shorter than 3 feet and no longer than 4 feet. The receptacle may be located behind the trash compactor or in a space adjacent to the compactor. If the receptacle is less than 6 feet from the edge of the sink, it must be protected by a GFCI. If the trash compactor is hardwired, a padlockable device should be installed on the circuit breaker supplying power to the trash compactor. The trash compactor circuit must be AFCI protected. Electric wall ovens and electric ovens mounted under the cooktop. These types of ovens are usually hardwired, but can be connected with a cord and plug if permitted in the manufacturer's installation instructions. 
The oven mounted under the cooktop must be suitable for this type of installation under the certain cooktops. Read the instructions and label of the appliance to select the appropriate power circuit size. The power supply circuit for this type appliance must be 4 wire, 240 volts, 20 to 50 amps. The junction box connecting the oven wiring to the circuit wiring may be located in or adjacent to the space occupied by the oven. If the oven is hardwired, the padlockable device must be installed on a two-pole circuit breaker. Electric cooktops Electric cooktop are usually hardwired, but can be connected with a cord and plug if permitted in the manufacturer's installation instructions. The cooktop mounted above the oven must be suitable for this type of installation. Read the instructions and label of the appliance to select the appropriate power circuit size. The power supply circuit for this type appliance must be 3 or 4 wire, 240 volts, 20 to 50 amp. Not all electric cooktops require a neutral wire. Check instruction. The junction box connecting the cooktop wiring to the circuit wiring may be located in the cooktop space or in a space adjacent to it. If the cooktop is hardwired, the padlockable device must be installed on a two-pole circuit breaker. Gas-fired ovens Gas-fired oven require an outlet to power the igniter and electronics. The 15 or 20 amp receptacle may be placed in the space occupied by the oven or in the space adjacent to it. The receptacle for a gas-fired oven can be powered from one of two branch circuits for small appliances. If the receptacle is located less than 6 feet from the edge of the sink, the receptacle must be GFCI protected. If the receptacle is a GFCI or AFCI type, it must be readily accessible, so it shall only be installed in a space adjacent to the appliance. If the oven is installed under the electric or gas cooktop, it must be listed for such use. Gas-fired cooktops Gas-fired cooktop require an outlet to power the igniter and electronics. The 15 or 20 amp receptacle may be placed in the space occupied by the cooktop or in the space adjacent to it. The receptacle for a gas-fired cooktop can be powered from one of two branch circuits for small appliances. If the receptacle is located less than 6 feet from the edge of the sink, the receptacle must be GFCI protected. If the receptacle is a GFCI or AFCI type, it must be readily accessible, so it shall only be installed in a space adjacent to the appliance. If the cooktop is installed above the electric or gas oven, it must be listed for such use.